Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. I'm going to start out by saying I am just having the worst luck with uh, recording things this evening. I, um, just, I just haven't been able to get this game going. Now, I finally have, and I'm confident now that it's going to work. I'm going to tell my start telling my story for the third or fourth time here. I remember this game from... Um, the computer lab lab at uh, I'm gonna say junior high my junior high school and I think it would have been when I was in grade eight which would have been 1981 82 and it would have been on an Apple II uh, computer so this was definitely uh, in black and white when I played it and uh, there would have been some artifacting on the Ataris. I don't know that I ever played this on the Atari. Anyway, let, let me get started here. The controls on this, I did, I did read up on this a little bit because um, I thought there was commands, maybe keyboard commands. That's not true, but the, the controls are, are heavily multiplexed on the joystick. So you have to do things like press different directions to do things. And while you're moving, press a direction or... It's kind of odd and awkward by today's standards. And, uh, you know, it was a limitation of things being set up to use a single joystick with a single button and um, not use the keyboard, basically. So let me just pick, select a difficulty level, one through eight. I'm going to go with two. I'm pretty sure one is the easiest. Maybe I should just, ah, I'll go with two. Oh, okay, here's the first thing I'm talking about. You have to push up to stop, stop. There we go. So there was an alligator there briefly. Look at all these skeletons and everything. Um, first of all, I'm going to set up the artifacting, which would be here. We're going to say that, and we're going to see how that looks, which is maybe not quite what I was after. And probably CTIA, I suspect. Hmm. Boy, that is hard to read. Maybe I should just play it in black and white mode. Let me just have a quick look at the other one here. Oh my gosh. Super hard to read. You know what? Okay, never mind. I am just going to go back to uh, having an itchy face. Yeah, that's just not great. Uh, let's see here. Let's turn off artifacting. We'll just play it in high def mode on the Atari. Ooh, a snake. Okay, so in order to jump, you have to already be walking and press jump. Okay. To search a pile of debris, I think, you press your button. You keep, you keep pressing. No box here. Okay, I think that means... Oh! Crocodile or an alligator. You did not make it. Am I seriously dead? <laughs> well, that was a that was a good run. Thanks. That'll do it for my look at Aztec. Not really. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go with difficulty one since apparently I got. So I I believe there's. Oh whoa running. Okay. Yeah. In order to start running, you have to push and hold left or right. Wow. Look at look at look at look at me go. Scorpion? Cool. Uh, Scorpion desperately wants to kill me. I don't think I have any weapon, do I? No box. Do I have a bullet? No, zero. Three sticks of dynamite. Zero bullets. Three strength. Okay, I'm going to go over to this pile of junk. Search it. Oh, and there's a, is that poison or, oh, look at that. A giant, a, a jungle cat, looks like. Uh, I'm going to try to... Ah, four strength. Cool. So you can have more than your base three strength. Empty box. Sad. Oh, oh. So to go down or upstairs, you have to go diagonal at the right time. Wow, what a pain. Okay, that's hard. Oh, I started running. Ah, and you smack into a wall. Good news. No box here. Oh, is that not a pile of debris? I guess not. Can I search the bones? No box here. I guess not. No searching. 
Oh, crap. Jump is the button. Oh, I didn't do me any damage, though. Why am I jump? Why was I bouncing like that? No box here. Okay, so the basic idea is you're searching the, the Aztec temple, looking for treasure, and trying to avoid traps and things. That's my understanding. I don't think I've seen any traps yet. No box. There's a box. Empty box. Whoop. Okay, running is... Oh, you can run up and down. St Why did I fall? No box here. Whoop. Don't jump into walls. I guess you don't lose strength by that. Oh, you can also crawl. Why? Oh boy, this is awkward. No box, okay. What are you supposed to do with the scorpion? Avoid it, I guess. Oh, this is where I was. Okay, well, I think... Okay, I'm not... There we go. Uh, I'm going to call that a jaguar since we're supposed to be in the Aztec jungle. Nothing there. Empty. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that. I don't have any... I have dynamite. Hmm. How does one use dynamite? No. Oh, crap. No. <laughs> that sucks so hard. Okay, let me see about... Uh, no, how do you find the instructions here and check into how you use dynamite? A dynamite. Go into crawl mode, move so your hand is fully extended. Press the fire button to light the fume. What? Good lord. That's not complicated at all. To climb, you must already be moving. Oh, that's climbing stairs. Okay. To climb down, use the walk command. What? Oh, so you just automatically go down. Oh. Oh, I see. All right. Well, I think I've got it, at least that bit. Maybe I'll practice using dynamite here. Let's go into game mode one. Whoa! Whoop! Don't do that, but I guess you don't hurt yourself. All right, let's do some searching. What is that? Oh, a pistol. Nice, but no bullets. No bullets. Oh, hey. my. Oh, I got my pistol out, but no bullets. Okay. All right, cool. Empty box, that seems to be common. I don't really want to fall too full flight. I also don't want to run. I don't really want to fall two flights of stairs or two, two stories in the building, do I? I remember there were kids that played this game to death. What is that? Oh, look out. Is that dynamite? What is that? Oh, obviously it was. Took a long time to susplode, didn't it? All right, well, I don't really see anything down below here. Let's, okay, yeah, you just walk and you automatically go down. No, I wasn't trying to get the pistol out. I was trying to search. So I guess the piles of skulls don't have anything in them. And I'm not sure what this is meant to be. Uh, what? Why would you be able to fall off the stairs? Oh, boy. So this is... How can I... Good Lord. How can I climb up a pile of garbage and fall down on my face? Some weird things here. Whoop, snake. Oh, for crying out loud. Get up the stairs. There we go. Jeez. Oh, I guess you keep walking up? I don't know. Jump right over the snake. That's how I roll, baby. Take that, you stupid. Okay. There are some quirks to this, for sure. Hello? Ooh, that was... Oh, I guess I'm stuck on this screen now. Empty. Oop, jumping instead of searching. 
No box, no box. No, I don't want the gun. No box. Uh, ooh, nice. Spider, I guess. Giant spider. <clears throat> Quite the screen, though. And a snake. Okay, well, well, with all that in mind, let me see if I can figure out how to use dynamite. Oh, there we go. With your arm fully extended. Okay, well, it takes quite a while to detonate, doesn't it? Wow, these screens are nuts. <laughs> okay, that's challenging. Can I get to that top level? Is there any reason to? Whoops. Oh, you can. You can climb right up in the garbage and then plummet and hurt yourself, apparently. I tried to jump. That didn't work. Ah, watch out for Mr. Snake. Oh, okay, that's it's a little too hard for my liking. Oh, boy. Oh, I ran right over the spider. That was weird. trying to jump. Nope. No such luck. Okay, I'm going to say quirky, but it's a little bit beyond quirky. But anyway, early computer game, and I think converted from Apple, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here. All right, well, I'll continue to explore for a bit, see if I can't find something of note other than the pistol. I don't know why I keep trying to explore those piles of skulls. There's never anything in them. Stand up. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, there's a box down there. Oh, look at that. Like a... Oh, there's a hole in the floor, apparently. Cobra. Cool. So there's some kind of neat stuff going on here. No bullets. Oh, what the... What the hell is that? Giant lizard reptile thing <clears throat> not quite sure what to make of that look at oh jeez but the dynamite takes oh <laughs> you did not make it oh boy and I'm on difficulty level zero interesting well can I pick that up? Oh, oh, hey, good. That was like, what is that, a rat or a scorpion? That was like four sticks of dynamite. Look at me. I've got four sticks of dynamite, and I knock myself cold on a wall. The rat just follows you, hey? Oh, that was maybe a mistake, arguably a mistake. Go, go, go. Get up and run. Oh, shh. What, are you, what on earth are you supposed to do with that? <sighs> okay. Well, you're seeing, I'm going to call it an early action platformer video game. And by even my own standards, it's not great. My own standards of being well familiar with what things were like back then. Cool creatures. I'm going to give it that. I don't know how you're supposed to get... Now I'm done. <sighs> Crappity crap, crap, crap. Not annoying at all. I don't like the you can walk on the junk pile stuff. Whoop, or jump to your... Okay, apparently you can fall an arbitrary distance, but now I'm... Now I'm trapped? No box here. Can I blow my way through a wall? Let's find out. No, 
I'm not sure what the consequence of that is going to be. Whoa, I guess the answer is yes, you can't. Oh, oh, cool. Skulls, I got skulls. That's good, I guess. That's a neat effect. Whoa, crap. I guess falling, though, doesn't really seem to hurt you. What did I pick up? Oh, bullets, but I don't have a pistol. So there's a fair bit of, I'm going to say, luck, as well as and being able to work the controls, which is hard. Oh, 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 get out. Interesting. Empty. Yeah, I'm not big on the falling off of the treasure thing. Oh, what is that? Cool. It's like a tentacle plant monster, maybe? Interesting. I have dynamite, but you, I don't think you can throw dynamite, so I'm not sure what good dynamite would do me here. Now I am very curious as to what that might look like with some with some color. There you go. Green tentacle monster. So if I play this in color or artifacting... Co ah, crap. Color due to artifact. I'm not sure what that creature was. If I play this in color artifacting mode, obviously the creatures look more interesting. No box here. Super hard to read the text, though. Maybe it would have been easier on a TV, I guess. Okay, let's play it in this mode for a few minutes. Empty. So I have bullets. Not much in the way of dynamite. Good one. Okay, not not so good. I feel like there should be like the possibility of finding things in these piles of bones and such, but it doesn't really look like it. I mean, I've certainly tried searching enough of them and not found anything. Whoop! Oh, that was not expected. So I don't know how you get off a staircase like that. That's and then going automatically into. Oh my lord. Automatically into crawl mode when you when you fall is maybe not ideal either. So it's just those piles of junk that are the the main thing you seem to find stuff in. Whoops, what did I just do? Okay, so anyway, oops, if I use the, the actual joystick, that would help. All right, all righty. Well, to be blunt, I've just about had enough. The memories outweigh the reality. And I don't have that many memories of this game. Mostly, I think I've watched other people play. A pistol. Well, let's see what it looks like to, is it like a baby spider, maybe? Let's see what it looks like to actually use the pistol. Ah, okay, so you don't see the bullet fly, but you see a little muzzle flash. Dynamite, ooh, look at me. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't seem to get any dynamite. Oh, dynamite, and then you have to pick it, and then you have to press the button. So you press once, oh, good, good news. You press once to open it, you press again to see what's in it, and you press a third time to pick it up. Oh, hang on, I'm not going to be able to get there, am I? I'm not going to be able to get to that box. Okay. Maybe if I go above it and blow a hole in the floor, maybe? Ah! <laughs> okay, that, that was a bit lucky, no box. So getting ah, getting used to the movement is half the best. Oh, there's a trap there. Okay. Some interesting traps for sure. However, now I'm stuck. Good thing I picked up some more dynamite, I guess. OK, 
kaboom it's kind of a neat animation with the dynamite with the color turned on especially so here we go fall down and now there's a rat which is going to kill me oh it didn't kill me for some reason oh all the way down good 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 let's just keep falling see how far down we can get a couple of boxes professor von forster what that's who so i believe professor von forster was the one who set off to find and explore this temple in the first place i guess we found his body i suppose that's not weird or anything oh there's a junk pile to explore there yeah no nothing there what did i just pick up bullets oh no oh good 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 job me run run you dumbass oh the cat's still there oh objects persist who could have seen that coming not me that's interesting that's um a crocodile or alligator or whatever that's supposed to be the creatures are pretty cool i have to say now what do i want to do i want to get off this screen no not like that right into the cat oh but they don't maul you when you're on the ground apparently good news okay wow good job so i still have to go up and over i think i don't think i can jump all though all that way That involved a direction change in the last second. Do I want to go up? Yes, I do. Oh, wow, what the? What What on earth? Some crazy screens here, man. Yeah, that's not my favorite thing in the world. Oh, another flooding screen, hey? Interesting. If I go down here, I should have time to loot the box. But there's nothing in the box, is there? Okay, well, let's uh, proceed across the top there. Oh, good, 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 good. Nice old plummet. A nice solid plummet. I do have bullets. And I can still climb the debris and there's a box there, but there's a crocodile guarding it. Oh, there's another downward stair there. I don't see any way to that. Pile of debris. Hmm. Well, I guess we just plummet. Let's plummet, shall we? Empty. Is there ever anything in a box? I'm not convinced that there is. bullets I wonder, okay but i'm already at seven bullets oh can you oh hang on maybe i didn't pick them up oh that's i keep forgetting maybe seven's the maximum oh good now i'm dead perfect i want to see if i can shoot that dinosaur thing and then my life will be complete there is apparently a machete you can get as well oh look at that I killed something. Empty. Okay. I feel like my life is actually more or less complete now. Ah, seven is the maximum number of bullets you can carry. Okay. I need to find an elixir because I, I is out of strength. Oh, good. Good. I'm on top of the... And dynamite. Run, dummy. 
you did not make it. Okay, all right. Well, that one hasn't aged very well, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's not terrible, and it's an interesting look at a pretty early sort of platform adventure exploration game. Clearly, I'm going to say influenced by Indiana Jones. Although, I mean, Indiana Jones didn't actually originate those those tropes, but actually Indiana Jones was, what year was Indiana Jones? I feel like it was after 1982. Uh, when did that come out? Oh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Aztec, Apple II. Let's see what we learn about this. Aztec action adventure game for the Apple II, 1982, ported to the Ataris and Commodore 64s. Okay, well, yeah, it, it could easily have been influenced, we'll say, by Raiders of the Lost Ark. Alrighty, so anyway, that is going to do it for my look at Aztec from 1982. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.